fall in line? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! God fucking damn it! God fucking damn it all! Every last fucking bit! God damn it all! Every last motherfucking microscopic, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, son of a bitch, bastard ass, tiny little shit sucking bit of it! Fall in line. Hey, uh, it's Kev. I'm baking up a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so hope you can come. TTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so... Looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, I'm glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Be Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign. Where are you at? I'm about to take the quiche out of the oven and it won't be nearly as good cold. Get your ass home before we drink all the mimosas. Be right there. Oh, I 
Everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. W what sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Hey! <laughs> hey, the wave slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how was the job? Uh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. Okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Phew, <laughs> I'm in. So, I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, I played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, I see I wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. I swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Come on, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm -mm. Mm, no, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, brunch is done, dishes are clean. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh, can we take a hybrid? Eli, I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I'm thinking acceleration is gonna matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front, and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. Almost there. Let's get sight. Only you can decide oh, no. how you react to No, not this crap adversity. again. Only hey, you can choose the to adapt to the Don't yuck someone's yum. Throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of
That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of caddy, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's a safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my... <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, you could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Mina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillicuddy. No! Oh. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you with the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the payday place. Sounds like they're in force. on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam, send them into a ditch. <laughs> that took care of them. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for Karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. Tighten them up! I don't have time for this shit today. Ha! 
can't fight back against us! I needed that fucking car! Ah! The things I do to pay my rent. Ah! Happy with that. You ain't nothing here! Ah! Problem. Los Panteros scrapped my switch car. The what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. Clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass. Get to the county line. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. for a ride? You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities. If you know where to look. Hey, glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. 
When you say friends, do you mean friends friends or special friends? All my friends are special. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. Newbie, I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Ah! She could be late for lots of reasons. Buff Pantero's coming through. I don't want to stop. You don't get to keep interrupting people. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. Nawali was waiting to sync up with him before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. 
so we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage. Just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just dropped something. We're gonna put you down! We're gonna just let them shoot at us? Gwen was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. I'm good. Okay, back on track. From now on, observe and report. Oh, fuck. They have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. I... God damn it. Get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret? From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. Little bit. I said a little bit. Technically still within mission parameters. They had no chance. Heads up. You got more incoming. Oh, come on. I was almost done. Oh, as long as I'm here. Doobie, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? Gwen, well, there were motorcycles and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was quick. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait. That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. They are? Pick me up! I can't get close! That truck's on fire! Shit! You gotta get off that truck without me! Fuck! The car's on fire! Nice one. go you're exceeding expectations right can you put that in my performance review Fall back. 
Shit, Sergio! Don't fall back! Don't fall back! Motherfuck! You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses! Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business! He's charging us! Shoot him! Shoot him! Come on again! Push him back! Nobody steals from Sergio! I'm rolling up my six! Back off, asshole! I see a way out! Keep your head down! It's gonna be tight! That guy's compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck. Really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio. JR, let's get him. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves are on? Ah. That's a fine shoot. Ah. I can barely see him. I see the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me into jumping range, then fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. I got this. End of the line, motherfucker. You fuck with Sergio's business. You think you can walk away from that? Shit, you're out cover. I'm gonna do to you what I did to your truck. I'm gonna 
gonna hand Sergio your head. I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, oh, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. 